as we walk in the front door here of the 343 VBH, of course you'll see your control panel right here for your slides, um, your awning, your main lights, your porch light, your cap light, all that good stuff. And then you also have all your tank readings right here as well. Then you'll find next to it a sticker um, for Go Power. This is prepped and wired for a solar panel if the customer wants to add it on afterwards or we have an option that where we actually install it but if we don't install it you will find a sticker here to where if somebody wants to add it on after the fact that they can um, big coat closet here two coat hooks right here in every unit you'll find a little hidden compartment that's got uh, two usb ports an outlet perfect place to put your cell phone be done with it for the weekend put your keys you don't have to worry about losing anything um, as you kind of scan towards the kitchen here, you'll see the um, farm style sink, one bowl. You've got your pull out faucet. We have gone to the Furion um, 21 inch oven in the Turing, three burner cooktop. Nice little safety feature on them now that if something is hot, these lights here will be red. They're not hot, of course, blue. Nice little new safety feature. Um, this unit here has the old standard eight cubic gas electric refrigerator. We also have the option for 12 volt, which um, a lot of dealers or retail customers are doing these days. This one though is the eight cubic foot. As you kind of look towards the slide out here, um, this one is equipped with theater seats. The theater seats, of course, come with all sorts of new fancy gadgets. You got your massage, you got your heat, you got a USB port on both sides. In the middle here, you also have a flip up with an outlet for 110 and also two USB ports along with two cup holders. Um, this is one configuration. Another configuration is your basic trifold sofa. Um, or you can always do a King U sofa, which is one big kind of like an l-shaped one big sofa that has a little table instead of the dinette in the separate thing if you do get the regular booth dinette in, in your configuration on how it's ordered uh, booth dinette you're going to find under both sides full pull out plastic tray or plastic bin uh, what's nice about that is you can load this up with as much weight as you want to cast iron pans anything like that you don't have to worry about getting underneath the cushion you don't have to worry about a drawer breaking because of the weight Again, this is on both sides of the dinette. Little things, uh, you got, you know, extra storage here, pantry, one, two, three, four, five shelves, good size pantry. As you kind of scroll back here through the living room, of course, you're going to find a fireplace in every sport truck that we build, but in Turing's, you're going to find a fireplace in the living room. And then I'll show you one also that we have in the in the bedroom that's just standard. Um, as you kind of scroll up here towards the ceiling, you're going to see this unit has two ACs. Um, if it's ordered still with one, it is already prepped for a second AC. But what's nice about having the two ACs, when you get two ACs ordered from us, then you're going to get the H-duct channel um, air conditioning vents. Some people call it racetrack duct. Um, but you'll get that with two ACs. Both ACs have their own independent thermostat. And then, of course, what's nice is if you want to close off a vent, all you got to do is close it off. It'll give you more airflow if you decide to close off one of the bedrooms. As we come into the bathroom here, which I'm going to actually stay out of the bathroom, you'll see true porcelain toilet. Everything that we build. Nice size bowl in the bathroom sink. You can actually use it, um, brush your teeth, you know, shave, that kind of stuff. A lot of them have smaller bowls these days. And then you get your needle angle shower with a nice size shower head on top. Uh, you'll see right there the fireplace, first thing. That is in all Sport Trek Touring bedrooms. So you'll have, again, like I said earlier, one in the living area. And then, of course, one in the bedroom area. Just like in the living room area, underneath the fireplace and your drawers there, you have room for shoes, pet bowls, those sort of things. Easy to 
to use. What's the nicest part about the bedroom in here is you have a bed slide. Um, the 343 VBH is a queen bed slide. Most of the Turing's are king bed, but in the 343 VBH it is a queen bed. But what's nice is it still gives you a lot of room in the bedroom here. You can walk around the bed. You've got storage up top here with an outlet and USB port for anybody that's using a CPAP machine or if they want to store their phone there, that sort of thing. As you kind of scan towards the front of the unit, you'll see a nice dresser area, two, two cabinets, one on each side for hanging clothes. You'll have one of this on both sides. You also got a nice shelf up here with outlets above it. Two extra drawers here. Got a shade over the windshield. So in the bedroom here, you've got five drawers for storage between these two areas. Nice big size drawers here also. Um, and then you also have six different cabinet doors for storage between above the bed, the dresser here, and then the little dresser nook over there. As we walk back towards the back of the unit, that is when you're going to find the half bath where when I was outside the unit, I mentioned the smaller door, entrance door, and the smaller grab handle, and the old flip down steps or fold up steps. But a nice half bath for the kids or for anybody that's outside, they don't have to trek all the way through the unit. Just like in the other bathroom, you've got a good size sink or a good size bowl there in this, for the bathroom sink, true porcelain toilet again, medicine cabinet. Again, just a half bath, so. And right around the corner there, you're going to walk into the bunk room area. So you've got your two bunks here on the left side. Uh, some storage underneath there. You've got the outside kitchen right behind it. But you do have, you know, a little bit of storage here. Each bunk, USB port. Uh, good size upper bunk here. A little bit smaller or a little bit larger than the bottom bunk because of the outside kitchen. Um, TV uh, hookup with outlet cable hookup on the back wall here for the bunk room if they want to have a TV back here for a rainy day. Here you've got some storage for the bunk room area. You've got a little hanger rod here going this way instead of this way. Storage up above. And then as you get on over to the other side of the bunk room here, of course, you've got um, Jiffy sofa down below that underneath it has the table. There's a table that goes here. Um, we store the table underneath here, Jiffy, which, of course, this folds out into a bed. Need be rainy day or if the kids are back here, boom, they have a table, got their own TV area. Um, and then, of course, you've got a fourth sleeping area here for the top bunk. Uh, 